If you play Hunt Showdown, you've likely found yourself in this situation before. It was a terrible situation. If not, congratulations, you're quite lucky. I suggest you buy a lottery ticket or take a chance on not pulling out. The reload bug is something of a hot button topic in the hunt community, and after seeing an increasing number of comments on the subreddit with different claims as to how it works and potential fixes for it, I committed myself to ending the debate, and proved one of my old comments wrong in the process. I cringe, Mr. Mayor. Determined to find some method to the madness, I then engaged in the most mind-numbingly painful form of boring gameplay since Spider-Man's Mary Jane missions. Wait. After sacrificing my sanity, I'm happy to say I can now shed some definitive light on how the bug typically gets triggered, how to fix it, and how to avoid it entirely. For those of you that are unfamiliar, the reload bug is exactly what it sounds like. Well, While Hunt adheres to the common FPS mechanic of reloading, it does so with a small caveat. Upon attempting to engage with this mechanic, many players' bullets are vanishing like elephants, and not because Dennis, the game's lead designer, is the reincarnation of acclaimed vaudeville magician Harry Houdini. As far as bugs and shooters go, this one is pretty bad. Not you, Steve. The Houdini ammo has reportedly been present as far back as update 1.5. Pepperidge Farm remembers when custom ammunition was first introduced almost two years ago. Despite first being noticed primarily on single-shot weapons, utilizing their new capability of carrying two types of ammo, the bug has unfortunately increased in severity with each passing update and can now affect practically every weapon in the arsenal, including the bomb lance and bow. Let's start with what triggers the bug. This is 100% replicable and will probably explain 99% of your Houdini ammo situations. The key is in this clip from several months ago. All you have to do is use the last charge of a tool or the last of a consumable stack right before reloading. If you only have one instance of a certain consumable, this will work too. It can also be triggered using a throwable or placeable world item like a lantern or bear trap. Poof. Magic. Magic. According to all my testing, the window for the reload bug to trigger after using an item is around 4 seconds for most weapons. The Romero and crossbow in particular do seem to have slightly more generous windows, which may account for so many cases of people having a problem with them. This effectively means that you are often able to use an item, shoot, then reload, and still trigger the bug. Pierce loaded your gun with blanks. With this in mind, there are two stages of the reload bug that will typically occur on all weapons. Stage right or stage left? The first stage is what I'll refer to as the false start reload, where after beginning the reload animation, your weapon will be abruptly returned to its previous state as if the reload had finished or been cancelled. Cancelled. The false start is your biggest indicator that you're about to have an unsuccessful reload. Unfortunately, the false start generally appears only at the very beginning of the reload bug's window. Wait a second or two before pressing your reload input, and you'll most likely find yourself already in the second stage, the ghost reload. If you attempt to reload again after the false start, the animation will complete successfully, but your bullets will literally ghost you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine. Spamming your reload input after the false start can sometimes bypass the ghost reload on a few weapons, but on others can cause an animation loop that will make the process of getting ammo to stay loaded take longer than a Lord of the Rings travel sequence. This particular issue appears to be most commonly found on pistols. Once your bullets have disappeared during a bugged reload, a second reload will typically complete successfully. Great success. Weapons capable of having a split ammo pool, on the other hand, are susceptible to a far worse version of the bug. I did initially believe switching between ammo types too quickly was responsible for this unique variation, but after testing this with the Sparks, the Sparks pistol, the Martini, the Springfield, the Romero, the Bertier, and the crossbow, <gasps> I found this method to really only cause the occasional Houdini round. The root of the problem turned out to be switching ammo types after completing an action that would normally trigger the bug on a reload. As with other guns, the ammo will Houdini the first time it's loaded. The key difference is, the bug will be triggered again every time you swap ammo types on that particular weapon, without the need for the normal conditions. This issue will persist for the rest of the match. And if that wasn't bad enough, the Bertier aggressively plays into the stereotype of French rudeness and simply refuses to let you swap ammo types once the bug is triggered. 
This is what happens when I try to reload. I tried all the supposed fixes I could find for these apparently permabug guns, but none of them seemed to work. That is, until I stumbled, or rather vaulted, into the solution while attempting to fix a bug Berthier. Yes! Animation cancels. Yeah, I'm picking it up and dropping to work! Ah! We found the fix! When switching ammo types on your bugged weapon, wait for the ammo counter to fill, and then immediately initiate an action that interrupts the reload animation. This could take the form of swapping to your secondary, a tool, consumable, or world item, vaulting, or even climbing a ladder. A ladder! But I recommend the simple and efficient act of going into dark sight. If you have a bugged Berthier, the same process applies, but you have to be spamming the ammo swap input when you initiate the animation cancel, since changing your ammo type will be impossible. All that being said, I've heard prevention is better than the cure, so let's talk contraceptives. If you realize you've met the conditions for the bug to trigger, or notice the false start after your first reload attempt, you have two options. You have two options. You can either wait out the four second window, Option two. Or you can quickly hit your dark side input before the reload. For whatever reason, this seems to circumvent the bug, similar to animation cancels fixing bug bear TAs, but preemptively. You can accomplish the same result by switching to anything on your toolbar, including your secondary weapon, but I'm once again partial to dark side. As you're probably aware, Crytek recently added several new weapons alongside their complete defiance of Smokey the Bear in their winter event Devil's Moon. And despite being able to literally play with fire, I would have been remiss if I didn't test the reload bug on the new guns. Strangely enough, the Centennial Trauma, Martini Ironside, Springfield Crag, Craig? Crag. Springfield Craig? Crag. Cra Springfield Crag. And Lamat Carbine all seem to be immune to the bug, with the exception of the Lamat Carbine's secondary fire. The Ironside's ammo counter may have a momentary visual bug, but the gun is otherwise functional. In fact, it appears to have a different kind of reload bug, one that benefits you in the form of a near instantaneous reload. Well, they fixed that quickly. Ironside aside, there's a few other quick things to note about the reload bug in its current state. Interacting with doors, windows, generators, lamps, or bells does not work to fix or avoid the reload bug on any weapon. For a world interaction to work in this regard, it must include an animation involving the player model. A little song. A little dance. The stalker beetle won't trigger the reload bug, regardless of whether it's detonated or not. Steve is a good bug. Just look at that face. Look at it. Look at that! Picking up and setting down lanterns, bear traps, or any of the world spawn melee weapons will not trigger the bug. However, should your hunter have the tomahawk trait, throwing those same melee weapons will. Bullets that disappear during a bugged reload will return to your reserve ammo, but that's not really much of a consolation. Thankfully, we've gotten word from Crytek that they're in the process of fixing the reload bug entirely, with a complete system rework. The temporary workaround that was to be included in update 1.11 was unfortunately scrapped because they couldn't find a way to implement it without causing other issues instead, like the Lamat exploit. You know, the bug that allowed the Lamat shotgun pellets to have the same range and damage as its primary fire. Hunt is an amazingly fun game that I will play into the ground, but sometimes I do get the feeling that its current reload code might just be a bowl of spaghetti with a pirate hat on. The code is more what you call guidelines. But then again, I'm not a programmer, and I definitely don't know how to prepare Italian cuisine. The best I can do is SpaghettiOs and overanalyze things at a surface level. 